Hi, my name is Varun and I have with me Bill Fels from the Backup and Recovery team. And he's going to talk about Backup Exec 15, how Backup Exec 15 protects physical and virtual machines. So Bill, what have you got for us? Thank you, Varun. So uh, Backup Exec 15 has a number of flexible technologies to protect your physical or virtual infrastructures. And uh, how you use each type and when you use each type is a matter of some confusion. So I want to clarify that for everybody today. So we have here on the left the different uh, basic agent or agentless methods of backup that Backup Exec supports. So first you have agent-assisted, agentless, and agent-based. We'll talk through these individually and their use cases as we go on today. So we'll start up here. So agent-assisted means you actually have an agent within a virtual machine. This could be a VMware virtual machine. It could be a Hyper-V virtual machine. And you have an agent here that only helps in the backup process, but is not the data mover. So in this uh, example, this is used primarily for virtualized applications, right? So if I have um, Exchange in my virtual machine, or SQL, for example, or SharePoint, and I need granular restore of those application components, Right? So if I need to restore Exchange emails, uh, SQL databases, or SharePoint files and folders from that VM, then you want to make sure the agent for, for Windows is installed to that virtual machine. In that configuration, the agent captures metadata from these applications that's used for granular restore. However, it does not actually act as the data mover. This is going to be either your VADP, VMware backups, or your image Hyper-V backup. So it remains an optimized virtual backup, but it's supported or assisted by the agent for Windows for GRT purposes. So Next you have true agent list. So in agent list configurations, uh, this is also for virtual machines. So we again draw our virtual machine icon over here. However, in this case, uh, there is likely no application in the virtual machine. He's just a, a file server only. In that case, uh, the agent is not required in the virtual machine, and you still do your VMware VADP backup or your Hyper-V image backup, and we still support file and folder GRT in that configuration, even with no agent in the virtual machine. Finally, you have agent base. So this is your classic physical standalone legacy machine, right? So he's your, he's your standalone hardware uh, server. And you deploy the agent for Windows to that box or agent for Linux, and then you do standard legacy backups of that virtual machine. You can also use this for virtual machines uh, that have unique configurations. So for example, if you have a, a VM that does not apply for some reason to either of these configurations, you can still apply agent-based backups to that virtual machine and capture him uh, appropriately as well. Um, so again, we have multiple technologies here multiple use cases. Overall, it's very flexible, and you can mix and match the right technology and the right use case to your need to get the best restore benefit from Backup Exec 15. So. That was a great presentation, Bill. I'm sure it will help administrators understand which technology to use for their own infrastructure. So thank you.